The Chicago Lighthouse presents How to Identify Your Money. Hello everyone, this is Sandy Murillo and I work here at the Lighthouse. I am totally blind, have been totally blind since I was an infant. I had uh, glaucoma. I have no use of vision right now, so you know I do use many different techniques and strategies. One of the ones that I want to show everyone today is how to manage money uh, when you're a person with vision loss. That's one of the more tricky things, you know, considering that print money is not um, tactilely distinguishable for someone with no vision. Um, starting off with coins, though, you know, they are very distinguishable by touch. Here I have a penny. It's very thin, and you know there is it, it. There is no ridges on the edge, and plus it's um, the second smallest coin. Going on to the nickel, it's slightly thicker, and it also doesn't have any ridges, um, and it's slightly bigger than the penny as well. So, you know, so that's the distinguishing thing for a lot of us. Now with a dime, you know, that's very easy. It's the smallest coin and it has ridges all around. If you feel with your fingertip and it's very thin as well, probably as thin as the, the penny. And finally, the quarter, um, one of the more common coins and one, one of the easier ones to distinguish, I would say it's, um, out of the penny, the nickel, and the dime, it's and the quarter. You know, the quarter is the biggest, and with all the ridges around it, you can also feel those with your finger. And it's probably as thick as the nickel, so that's it's very easy to distinguish those. When it comes to print money, um, it can be challenging, but if you are organized, if you have a method. Um, it's doable as a blind person. Here, for example, I like to keep my, what, what most blind people use is that we fold the money um, in different shapes. And so that that way we can know just by feel what, um, what each denomination is. So here I have the dollar bill. I have that flat, does it's not folded or anything. Beside me, I have the $5 bill, um, which I had folded in half. So very distinguishable. Folded in half as opposed to the one, which is flat. And I have the dollar ten, which is in fourths. Um, and that way, you know, I know just by feeling in my purse which one it is. And each each person folds their money differently. There's no standard system in place. Now the US, um, the Bureau of Engraving, uh, recently they released the free bill identifier. This is a, um, it's a pretty neat gadget actually. It reads the denomination out loud when you put the, the bill inside the slot that's here on the top. So I'll put it in and then I'll press one of the buttons One. it told me it's a one. So let's say that, for example, I, you know, I was given change here at our cafeteria or at the store or anywhere and I didn't know what it was. You know, I could grab this one, put it in. Five. It said it's a five, so you know I'll be like, okay, this is a five. I'll fold it in half. There's also apps on the iPhone that serve the same purpose as the bill identifier, and those apps, one, the one that I like to use, for example, is called Money Reader. And this app, let's say that I suppose that I have it on, you know, I would flash the camera, the iPhone camera, above the dollar bill and they would say one dollar 
it's, you know, so it's essentially the same concept. And there you have it. As you can see, there are many ways of identifying money as a blind person. You know, not all methods are for everyone. And, but there is quite a variety. To find out more about identifying your money, call us at 312-997-3649.